I messed up. Just start over. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing another Bath and Body Works candle collection review today. And fun fact, I couldn't find the name of this collection, so I'm gonna make it up. Today we'll be reviewing the World Traveler Collection. And I'm pretty excited for this because, little known fact about me, I am not that well traveled. I've been to one of these places. Guess which one I've been to on the comments below. First candle. New York black tie. Ooh. When I think of New York, I think of like hobo piss and really rude people. You literally get none of that in this candle. It smells like cologne. Like masculine. Mmm, like, good. Like, I wouldn't mind someone smelling like this. I'll like rub up against you, like smell your armpits, you know? Let's read the description. The perfect date for any night in the big city. Green sage, sandalwood, and tonko beans. I don't know how any of those three smell, but if it smells like this, bring them on, light them in my house, I'll eat them so my farts smell like this. It's good. I like it. Winner. Next we have Istanbul Sparkling Amber. Let's smell it. I don't know, it smells like... The best way I can explain this is it smells kind of like expensive. Like this smells like, like, like you walk into a rich person's house and you're like, yeah, you have money. This is good. Oh, this is so good. Let's read the description. Fragrant treasures from the exotic city Grand Bazaar, luring amber, velvety peach, and a lush frangapenny petals transport you. What's a frangapenny? This smells like rich people. Like, if I ever go to like Bill Gates' house and he's having like dinner with Oprah and they like have like really cheesy food and they fart, this is what I assume their farts smell like. Like unicorns. Next we have Paris French Daydream. Let's see how it smells. Oh no. You remember like how I expected the New York one to smell like hobo urine and like, like kind of dirty streets? Like I expected the Paris one to smell like croissants and something like really good and like, I don't know, I expect Paris to be like this romantic city of beauty. This kind of smells like how I thought New York was gonna smell. But in a good way. Like if they got like hobo urine and like only fed the hobos like rose petals, but it's still urine, so it smells kind of weird, but it's like rose petally. I don't like this one. I mean, and it sucks, because this is my favorite color. And I would, I, this would be like my ride or die candle if it smelled great. Like, I'd be like, I'm gonna decorate my apartment with this. It's gonna be phenomenal. I don't like it. Let's read the description. Paris French Daydream. Evokes a sweet memory of light and romantic Paris rain. It doesn't. A fresh combination of watery mukit. Mukit. Delicate freesia and citrus infused with sandalwood. I don't know what mugit is. Do you guys know what mugit is? If you know, comment it down below. Is it flower piss? This smells like flower piss. Like if a flower can urinate and it doesn't smell pleasant, but it still smells pleasant because it's a flower, that's what this is. Up next we have Barcelona, and it smells like mandarins and mosaics. I kind of hope it smells like a soccer player's uh, jock straps. Cause let's be honest, we all watch the World Cup. We know how you look in Barcelona. Ooh, like it smells like like deodorant on someone who's kind of dirty, but it still smells really good. But it has like that masculine thing on it. So yeah, I guess this can smell like a soccer player's jock strap. Description: Luscious mandarin oranges and fresh peach blend with yuzu flower and vanilla in celebration of a city filled with colorful and magical mosaic patterns. Let's be honest. David Beckham, Barcelona. That's all we think of, right? He's, he's not from Spain, he's from the UK. How dare you? Up next we have Amsterdam. Tulips and windmills. You know, when I think of Amsterdam, I don't exactly think of clean smells. Let's see. Oh. oh, this smells like grandma, but I don't mean it like in a mean way. Like, I love my grandmother, she's my best friend, so to me this smells like strong, independent, and like beautiful. Like, you spent that extra money on that lotion because your skin is dry. Oh, it's so good! This doesn't smell like hookers and weed at all. Description! The delightful scent of a fresh cut flower, sweet lilac, pink, freesia. Freesia? Fuchsia? Fuchsia? No, it's F-R-E-E-S-I-A. Freesia? Freesia? Pink freesia and tulips layered with cooling greens. I don't know, this smells like freshly cut grass, grandma's house, like you're loved, like somebody hugged you when you were a child. 
Oh, I love it. Up next we have London Tea and Lemon. Little known fact, if it has tea or lemon in it, I'm buying it. Period. High expectations, London. Okay, it smells like a popsicle. Not gonna lie, I don't get any tea. I get lemon, but it's more of like a, I don't know, like, maybe like a lemon blueberry, kind of like the lemon watermelon candles. I don't know what I would expect from smelling a London candle. Quaint people, a queen. I, I don't get that, I don't get that here. But I, I, I like it, I like it. Doesn't punch you in the face like some of the other ones, but in a good way, they punch you in the face in a good way, except for Paris. Let's read the description. Indulge in a royal blend of tea, lemon, and sugar. I mean, I get the lemon and sugar. I get no tea in this, but I like it. Last but not least, we have Hawaii Aloha Passion Flower. I like the color of this one, I really do. And let me, let, let's be honest, if it's Hawaii, it's gonna smell like coconut, it's gonna smell like sunblock. Let's smell it. Oh wow, this does not smell like coconut. This is one of those candles that Bath and Body Works reuses their scent a lot, because this is the same as the Italy Flower like body lotion. I used to have it. This smells phenomenal, but they just retitled something else. But it is so good. I get like, I don't know, it's like flowery, but it's not like feminine flowery. All I smell is like sweet, it's sweet. It's like a sweet, good smell, not overpowering. This is good for like, if you're like hot in your apartment and you want to light something to make you think you're in paradise, but really you're in the ghetto and crying at night and drinking heavily. This is really good to make it be like, oh no, I'm in Hawaii and I'm sweating because I'm under the sun, not because my apartment has no AC. Let's read the description. Go on a dream vacation instantly with the fragrance of Hawaiian passion flower, watery pear, and cassata melon. Okay guys, so now it's the time of the video where I line them up least favorite to favorite. Let's get started and go. Okay guys, this is my lineup. Paris is my least favorite. I don't like the smell. It smells kind of dirty to me. It's gonna be returned. See ya, Paris. These guys I like. I mean, it's not a thing I'm gonna write home about. They're just gonna be filler candles until I burn the ones I really love. These guys I really like make me feel like rich. I'm like in a kind of like a weird movie, if you know what I'm saying. And these guys I love. I love these both so much. These are my favorite. Every time they come out with these additions and these uh, and these candles, I'm gonna buy them and buy them in bulk. I'm actually gonna return this one and buy more of those. Thank you guys. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. All the crafty actor. Thank you guys. See you soon. I don't know what a frango Perry. Frango, frango Penny, frango Perry, frango Pando, frango. Don't ask me. Frangie Penny, Frangie Penny. Frenchy Penny? I don't even know if I'm reading it right. This is great. This is phenomenal. This <laughs> Next we have Paris French Daydream. Got that wrong again. Fuck. Paris French Daydream. It's so stupid. Federico. Mmm, Joshua. Federico. Joshua's not even in Spanish. <laughs> Joshua. Federico. Lionel Messi. Funny that they brought tea to America because we dumped that shit in a harbor. <laughs>